In the early days of the Catholic faith, when it faced severe persecution from the Roman emperors, the Christians of Rome built underground tunnels and they would flee to these tunnels in times of persecution so that Holy Mass could be offered in secret. In these tunnels, called the catacombs, they also buried their martyrs and the holy Christian men and women who died remaining faithful to Christ. In May 1802, while some archaeologists were digging in one of these catacombs, they made an exciting discovery. They found a previously unknown tomb, a previously unrecorded tomb that had been covered over in dirt through centuries of history. The new grave was sealed by three terracotta tiles. They acted as a kind of memorial stone, telling something about the person buried there, and also the name of the name of the deceased. The stone read Pax Tecum Philomena, which means peace be with you, Philomena, and alongside these words were four symbols a palm, which symbolized martyrdom, a lily, which symbolized virginity, and an anchor and some arrows, which symbolized the manner of tortures which the holy saints had endured, namely, having been thrown into the sea with an anchor attached to her and having been shot with arrows. So the workmen had discovered the tomb of Saint Philomena. Perhaps some of you have grown up with Saint Philomena's school or Saint Philomena's sodality in your area. I was in that situation and I remember as a boy the only thing I heard about Saint Philomena growing up was some people claiming that she never existed. Maybe you've heard that story but that is far, far from the truth. You see the archaeologists didn't just find a tomb, they found the remains of a 15 year old girl, a real person, someone who had clearly lived a very brave and devout life. Today I want to respond to the outdated claim that Blessed Philomena never existed. I want to point at the things we know with certainty about this holy young woman and then finally I want to mention some of the miracles that have been linked to her intercession. And this is the big thing really because Saint Philomena is a wonder worker and to this day continues to be prodigious in miracles, continues to bring countless healings, countless conversions through her intercession. So first of all, why did some people deny that Saint Philomena existed? This wicked claim goes back to a, an Italian man, a so-called scholar, Orazio Marucci, who without even visiting the tomb, or seeing the terracotta panels that had covered it, suggested that the panels might have been placed on a different tomb from the one that they had originally sealed. Many scholars always contested this claim, but it was finally put to rest in 2005 when the University of Florence analysed the tiles using the latest technology. And crucially, the scientists found that only one type of cement on the edges of the tile was present. There was evidence of only one application of cement. Had the tiles been moved from a different grave, this would not have been the case. Furthermore, the inscriptions on each of the tiles were of the same ink pigment. And so we can be certain that these tiles in front of the 15 year old girl's body were about that 15 year old girl and we can be sure that the description on those tiles corresponded to the life of the girl behind the tiles. The inscriptions, let us not forget, speak of virginity and martyrdom. Saint Philomena's shrine in Mugnano in Italy continues to attract hundreds of thousands of people every year. And St. Philomena's feast may be celebrated on the 12th of August. But what do we know in more detail about the life of St. Philomena? 
The amazing thing about this beautiful saint is that she has appeared to a number of people and has revealed certain details of her life. Back in the 1830s, three different individuals were granted private revelations of St. Philomena. And whilst the individuals had no knowledge or connection with each other, they recorded matching accounts of St. Philomena's short and holy life. That in itself is an amazing miracle of our beautiful saint and a sign from heaven that God wants this saint to be known and loved. So we know. St. Philomena was a princess of a small Greek state. Her parents only converted to the Catholic faith shortly before Philomena's birth. And so she has this name, which means daughter of light. When she was in her teens, Philomena went with her parents to Rome in order to make peace with the emperor and to become a vassal state of the empire. The emperor was willing to accept the terms of peace, but only provided that Philomena would remain with him to become one of his wives. Tragically, her father, with his worldly ambitions, actually consented to this deal and left Philomena with the emperor. Philomena, however, was unwilling to enter into a marriage. Philomena told him, that she had already promised herself to a greater one, to the Lord Jesus, and that she would remain unmarried, completely dedicated to serving him. Philomena had made a vow of chastity and would not swerve from it, even when her father returned and tried to persuade her otherwise. As seems to have happened in the case of many young martyrs, the emperor grew angry. He threw Philomena into a dungeon for 40 days. But even this terrible incarceration did not alter her mind. And she was visited whilst in prison by our blessed mother and her gar and Philomena's guardian angel. From then on, the emperor tried a number of different tortures to break the resolve of our holy saint. These emperors were sadistic pagan men. Through them all, St. Philomena was miraculously assisted by her guardian angel. So, the emperor called for Philomena to be scourged. And after she was beaten cruelly and severely, it was her guardian angel who came and healed her wounds with a miraculous balm. Then she was shot with arrows, only for her angel to deflect the arrows away, and they were returned back to the ones who had fired them. And then, finally, Philomena was thrown into the river Tiber, with an anchor attached to her head, only for her holy angel to cut the rope binding the anchor to her, and to carry Philomena back to the side of the river, without a drop of water, clinging to her clothes. These tortures Saint Philomena endured, but was miraculously preserved through her protection by the guardian angel. But finally, at 3 p.m. on a Friday, the same hour as our blessed Lord's death, Saint Philomena was beheaded. If in her life, Philomena was associated with many miracles. After her death and the, the discovery of her relics, she has been even, been even more prodigious. There's a well-known magazine called Dedicated Decades. The patron of the magazine is St. Philomena and every issue is filled with letters giving thanks to St. Philomena for her intercession. In a recent issue, there is a woman cured of cancer, a baby raised from the dead, a fire miraculously put out when a cord consecrated to St. Philomena was thrown into it, and a paralyzed woman with ten children being restored instantly to full health. My friends, 
We should also be asking for the intercession of Saint Philomena. It is very clear she is powerful in heaven. God wishes her to be glorified. The main devotional articles linked to Saint Philomena are the oil of Saint Philomena, which comes from candles at her shrine in Italy, and also the cord of Saint Philomena, which is worn around the waist and ask Saint Philomena to give the individual the grace to remain completely pure or faithful to their marriage vows. I think Saint Philomena is very powerful in our times. I think God has raised her to our attention in our times because he wants to give us a powerful model of heroic Christian purity. A purity that stands firm even when it is not supported by society by TV, and even at times from family members. I mean, Saint Philomena, she could have been a major celebrity. She would have been a queen. She would have been alongside the emperor. But she denied that, knowing that she had promised herself to our Lord Jesus Christ. Our young people need a young heroic witness for upholding their faith and their commitment to Christian purity, even if their friends, or maybe even their own parents, are not giving them the correct encouragement. Philomena was being offered the highest position of power and fame that the world in her day could offer a woman. And both the emperor and her parents encouraged her to compromise her faith and her commitment to our Lord Jesus Christ to take up the offer. It is nearly a miracle these days for young people to be able to reject the allure of the evil things that they are offered to by this world. Evil things that in reality only lead to sadness and to eternity in the fires of hell. Almighty God has raised up Saint Philomena in our day as a special help and a friend to all those who want to say yes to Jesus Christ, to purity, to his kingdom before all else. Saint Philomena, patron of young people and helper of all those in need, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.